And then turning to our deal, we have FTCV. Um, this is FinTech Acquisition Corp 4, or Corp 5, excuse me, taking eToro public. So eToro, a social investment network company. Um, this deal values the company at $10.4 billion, a, a large $650 million pipe, including SoftBank, ThirdPoint, and Fidelity. Um, current FinTech Acquisition Corp 4. Five shareholders will own 2.4% of the company after the merger. Um, eToro, you know, growing, uh, offers commission-free fractional equity investments, crypto assets, and the ability to replicate other investors' portfolios. Introduced Bitcoin trading in 2013. In 2020, 44% of assets were in equities, 32% in commodities, 16% in crypto, and 8% in currencies. They added 5 million new registered users in 2020, had 17.5 million registered accounts at the end of 2020. Uh, in January of this year, they had 18.7 million registered users. And according to today's investor presentation, that total is now over 20 million here in March. Um, so back in 2019, they used to add an average of 192,000 new users each month. In 2020, that figure more than doubled to 440,000 on average each month. Um, so over 75 million trades made on eToro in the month of January. Um, that's up significantly from the past two years. They launched that crypto and social trading in the US in 2019. In the second half of this year, they will also launch stock trading, which is part of their growth plan. Um, in 2020, the European market represented 69% of funded accounts, and America's was only 8%, um, so definitely room for expansion there. Um, they talk about the total addressable market size increasing thanks to retail participation and you know new investing strategies. Um, they're also spending aggressively on marketing. You may have seen some of their commercials um, you know, going forward, and they're going to keep up that spending. In 2020, revenue was split 87% from trading revenue that they get on the spreads of those trades, 7% interest income, and 6% currency conversion, $650 million of revenue in 2020, up 147% year over year, compounded annual growth of 78% from fiscal 2016 to fiscal 2020. Going forward, they see revenue of $1.0 billion in 2021. 1.2 billion in 2022 and 1.55 billion in fiscal 2023. They are EBITDA positive, 95 million in 2020. Shares were up 15% this morning in pre-market trading. Um, looks like they have fallen a little bit from those highs, but again, this is one that you know people were waiting on for a while with eToro. The the big questions here are valuation. Um, this was done at over $10 billion when their last funding round valued the company at $2.5 billion. And as I mentioned, shareholders of FTCV are only getting 2.4% of the company after this merger, because again, this is a smaller SPAC taking a large company public. Um, you know, so pay attention to those figures, but they are growing significantly and spending aggressively on marketing to keep that growth up. Um, so definitely a well-known name with eToro.